I hear you like stories. I got one for you. Continue. I wasn't born with the privilege of some of my sisters in arms. I wasn't bred for greatness. I was just the daughter of some poor innkeeper. Matter of fact, I wasn't even his. He just raised me after somebody left me there. I didn't have much going for me, but I had one thing. I wasn't afraid of anyone. If somebody was asking for a punch in the face, I never thought twice. Brought a heap of trouble on myself that way, it's true. But I sure learned how to fight. Enough for now. I'll pick that up later. Back to my story. Go on. So, there I was, little Miss Brawl Magnet. If I wasn't starting them charging in to join it. Maybe it's something in the Asgard water. But it seemed like there was always a fight to be had. I guess I needed the rush. Something to keep me sharp, feeling alive. I was driven without fear or frankly much sense to hold me back. Got myself a bit of a reputation, and that ended up being a problem. This notorious bully I'd humiliated held on to a grudge and tried to track me down. Found out way too easily who I was and where I lived. Set out to teach me a We'll pick it up there when you progress further. Go ahead. So, the bully with a grudge. He comes to the inn in the dead of night, chucks a bottle of fire through the window, sets the whole place ablaze. The coward thought I was inside in bed, but luckily I was just getting home. I saw the flames shoot up and I was sleeping. Well, this wasn't going to be the day I started hesitating. I charged into the fire and dragged him out. Not unscathed exactly, either of us, but alive. And if I was too angry and fearless for my own good before, now, well, I charged right into that bastard's lair, me against his whole gang. Honestly, I had no business coming out of that alive. As it turned out, I came out of there with a job. But we'll get to that next time. Ready for a little more of my life story? Continue. I was in the fight of my life with the thugs who burned down my father's inn. Suddenly there's this sound, this flapping of feathers, and who should appear but Sigrun herself? Not yet queen, but by reputation, the best fighter the Valkyries had in memory. I was awestruck. She was confused. The violence, the mayhem she sensed, she expected to follow to a battlefield full of honored dead, not a hideout in the slums. I apologized to her for not sending worthier souls to Valhalla, and Sigrun offered to take me under her very impressive wing. But we'll cover that part next time, all right? You may speak. Sigrun mightiest of the Valkyries, saw me in action and thought I had potential? Wanted to train me in the ways of the Sisterhood. But I wasn't so sure. A knack for violence is one thing, but serving a higher cause. Taking on the responsibility of choosing the slain, me, Gunnar of Blackheart Alley? For once, I hesitated. I couldn't make myself believe it. But Sigrun told me to put everything out of my mind but the work. Mastering each new skill. Discovering what I was truly capable of through discipline and focus. Letting excellence be its own reward. Really opened my eyes. But we'll wrap it up next time, okay? Hmm. How about we finish up my story? Continue. Last time I was telling you how Sigrun helped me harness my anger and hone my skills. Training with her and my other future sisters, I never felt so challenged. Never felt such belonging. But part of me still couldn't believe I deserved to be there. All that community and purpose and meaning could be mine. If only I could master the one enemy I was afraid to face. Yourself. Damn right. I had to stop telling myself the story of all I could never be because of where I came from. When I focused instead on my intentions and my preparation, that's when I truly mastered myself. But I'm not telling you anything you don't know. And it's not as though there weren't more trials ahead. 
more to overcome and master. My point is, I get why you're doing this. And I truly wish you luck. Thank you, Gunnar. <laughs>